Hey everybody, it's Wilbit, and we are starting chapter four of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Revelio, you found Bin frozen in ice in a secluded hallway. Now you must unravel the mystery of how this happened and what it has to do with your brother. Oh, Mr. Corp has arrived in the hospital wing and is unconscious. No visitors until he wakes. Thank you, nurse, who briefly looked like Hagrid. All right, we can't quite yet visit Ben, so we'll just be talking to Snape and see if we can't conclude. I know that Snape is just dealing with something a little crazy at the moment, um, but maybe that's a good time to distract him and try to do a little favor for Hagrid. Get that whole side quest just ironed on out. Uh, excuse me, Professor Snape, my favorite professor, the best professor in the school? Huh? <laughs> You have no business here, Bits. I can barely tolerate your presence while class is in session. I was just hoping that you would teach me how to brew a fire-breathing potion? Why? I like fire. I want to be like you. It's for Hagrid. He said... N Hagrid said specifically not to tell him. It takes nine courage to be honest with him. I feel like we have been being rewarded for helping, for being honest. For being honest. And while I want to be like you is maybe the kind of buttering him up, but he's like, I don't breathe fire bits. I'm gonna regret this, I'm gonna say that it's for Hagrid. Hagrid asked me to brew it for him. He also asked me not to tell you that he asked me to brew it for him. I am being just stupidly honest. Just idiotically honest right now. You two deserve one another. That being said, I appreciate your honesty and will continue to reward you for future insight into his clandestine affairs. I, 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 I. Snape, are you making me a spy? <laughs> Ten points to Hufflepuff. Yes! Would you please teach me how to brew a fire-breathing potion? You are unfortunate in so many ways, but today you are very fortunate. Beats. I am. I happen to be brewing a fire-breathing potion for my stores, and will reluctantly allow you to observe. Thank you, Professor Snape. I don't know everyone wants to why everyone says you're so terrible. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that that's what everyone says. Why am I being so honest? Did you give me an honesty potion? I'm being st like this is just beyond this is just tactless. I immediately regret this decision. Me too. Me too. Uh, let's get the potion. <laughs> Oh, we get to watch the master at- Oh, roll up those sleeves! Oh. oh! We don't even touch the vials! You wouldn't want any of your fleshy residue, especially not yours, bits getting on the vials. Yes, sir! No! Fleshy residue! My hands are terrible! They're the worst hands, I agree! You're, you're absolutely right, Professor Snape. Why couldn't I have had robot hands instead of these cursed- Human hands! Oh, the fluid is highly volatile and has been known to melt flesh to the bone. Cool! And... here we go. The fluid is highly volatile... okay. Oh, I don't get skill ups for that? That's total potion times. Thank you again for teaching me how to brew a fire breathing potion. Professor Snape, my favorite professor. The professor who's friends with me. New potion learned... Do I not get- there's not an icon for that yet. Okay. Thank me by leaving my classroom as quickly as possible, bits. Uh, I heard you brewed a fire potion, well, let's meet in the Great Hall, I could use it right now, thanks very much. Okay, alright, okay, alright, fine. Fine, Hagrid, I don't know what you're doing. You owe me some splainin'.
Thanks again for brewing the fire breathing potion, Will. Now we need to hurry and use it. You're gonna drink it and blow fire? You're gonna, if you don't mind. Uh, gives me terrible indigestion. Why me? I also do not like spicy food. It's a long story. Uh, I'll be able to explain better when we're uh, at the Devil's Snare. Devil's! The Devil's Snare? Events that I set into motion in, in year one? Well, I didn't do it. Marula did it. I was the victim. I'll meet you there as soon as I catch the hippogriff that's been snatching at unexpected students. Huh? What? I shouldn't have said that. Matter of fact, should have said just about everything I just said. All right. Well, isn't that something? All right, I really want to finish this Hagrid plotline, so we're just going to go meet up with that big dude and see what has happened with the Devil's Snare, the first real obstacle we encountered in this game. Do you want me to drink the fire-breathing potion and blow it on the Devil's Snare? Are we trying to kill it? I tried fire-breathing potion once and almost burned down my hut. Something tells me you'd do much better. But why? I've been trying not to tell you because it's so embarrassing, but I suppose there's no choice. I lost my pup in there. Your dog is inside the Devil's Snare? I think he's hiding somewhere behind it. I've been keeping him calm by singing him lullabies. That's why I asked you to get the ingredients and brew the potion for me. Can I just use Lumos a lot like I did last time? The light would just make the plant move farther back and bury him deeper. Please, Will. He's just a puppy. How do I burn the devil's snare without hurting your dog? Very, very carefully. There isn't room for both of us in there, so I'll wait for you here. Okay. Oh, man. Hello? Are you in here? Hagrid's dog, who doesn't have a name, apparently. It'd probably help if I knew his name. Woof. I hear you. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here. It's time for a spicy amita ball. Glug, glug, glug. Blow fire. Show him your album. Introduce the Devil's Fair to your rap album. Spitting fire! Yo, 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 I got some hot Doritos and I ate them and I'm in the Super Bowl commercial and I'm gonna do a little bit of fire potion breathing. Yo, 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 yo! Gonna move it out. Yo, I took a little swig and I'm spitting raw heat. Gonna save up because I think he's really neat. If I don't get him out of there, my run through will be complete. Spitting fire! Hey, you're okay! I'd better get you out to Hagrid's right away! Oh, you gigantic puppy! You gigantic pup pup! <sighs> you did it, Will! You saved my pup! I'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done for me. <laughs> What's his name? Tell you the truth, I haven't had a chance to name him. What do you think we should call him? Hmm. Hagrid Jr. Voldemort. Seems in poor taste. <laughs> and then, if we're smart enough, we can know that he should be named Fang, which I suppose is canonically the name of Hagrid's dog. And w I'm responsible for naming him, me, Wilbits. So let's let's just let's play into the canon. Fang, Fang, you're welcome. Why don't you name him Fang? I've always liked that name for a dog. Every dog I meet, name him Fang. Fang one, Fang two, Fang three. Fang. Hmm. 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 Like the thing in his mouth. I get it. Let's call the pup Fang. Fits him well. Now you just have to keep Fang out of trouble. Maybe we should have named him something that doesn't encourage biting. He's usually a bit of a coward, so uh, hopefully it won't happen again. If it does, I'll find you again, Will. You're a real hero. Quest complete. Helping Hagrid. Yes! 200 courage for that. So courageous. Oh, that's tasty. That's a tasty courage tomato. 
So now all that's left is visiting Ben, which we've been putting off through this whole side quest. We can now get into the hospital wing, which has been here this whole time, but nobody's been injured enough for us to need to go. I hope you're okay. Oh, there's a lot of beds in here. This looks just like the one in the movie! You look kind of like Mrs. Claus. Is Ben going to be alright, Madame Pomfrey? I believe so. His memory is erratic, but I have seen patients in far worse condition in my time as matron of Hogwarts. He asked to see me? Many times. Along with other strange proclamations and requests, I believe he's experiencing some state of delirium. Can I talk to him? Mr. Carper has been through quite an ordeal and remains in a very delicate state. Every time I bang this pot and pan next to his bed, he just screams like you wouldn't believe. Well, back I go. Kong, 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 kong. What exactly do you want? To check up on him, to ask what happened. But the nice option with our empathy is to cheer him up. Um, and all of these things are true. But I think this is one of those where we definitely want to we want to go through the skill check here. I'm sure he's feeling down. I want to see if I can lift his spirits. Very well, but be brief. Hey, Will. Is that you? Hello. How are you feeling, Ben? Cold. Tired. Sore. Well, not that different from usual, to be honest. Is there anything I can do to cheer you up? Seeing friendly faces enough. Madame Pomfrey is very helpful, but she doesn't have the most comforting bedside manner. She keeps banging these pots and pans. What is that supposed to accomplish? You asked to see me. Did I? I feel like I'm losing it. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! What were you doing in that icy corridor? How did you get trapped in that cursed ice? I don't remember. I can hardly remember anything at all. Madame Pomfrey thinks it has something to do with the ice. Is it cursed ice? I, 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 I found a letter written to you that was in the artifact room. It led me to another that told you to go to that corridor. I'm sorry, Will. I just don't remember. You must remember something. Anything can help us understand what happened in that corridor. That's enough for today, Mr. Bits. Mr. Copper needs his rest. <sighs> if Ben can't help me understand what happened in that corridor, maybe Rowan can. I'm almost out of friends to talk to about this stuff. Ben can't remember getting frozen? I need to figure out what's going on. I mean, he loved that DVD. He's waited in line for it for hours. Kept talking about how it was his favorite movie. Singing Let It Go, Let It Go, over and over again. He just, how could he not remember getting frozen? That's all he wanted to get all summer. Um, Rowan, I don't know if you should be hanging out, like, next to the cursed ice. It has kind of a, like, right next to the cursed ice. Maybe step, like, a couple of feet. Well, how's Ben? Okay, but strange. He said he doesn't remember anything about coming to this corridor. I think he's hiding something. What do you mean? I've always felt like he knew more than he was telling. Like he was keeping secrets. He might just be afraid of whoever sent those instructions. Or he might be trying to protect us. I trust Ben. You might be right. I'm not sure. I do trust Ben, but this line of thinking might lead us down the path of investigating who R could be. I'm going to decide with you on this one. Also, Rowan, your name begins with an R, by the way. That's something that I'm just now thinking about. Are you a pirate? I'm going to say I trust Ben. I believe him, but it's still strange. Did the cursed ice affect his memory? Was it something or someone else? Let's search this corridor and see if we can find some clues. And this is an eight hour task and I do not have the energy to start that, so... Alright Rowan, let's search this corridor. 
we probably definitely should not be here. <laughs> it is alarming to me how some of us are red. And some other things over here are blue as we look for this stuff. I'm not expecting it doesn't work anymore. We're going to be in trouble. So I only needed one star to pass. So technically I could just go to sleep. And in the morning I would have passed. But I am going to try to pick up a lot of stars. Just because I think it's better to get as much reward as you can. But it's nice when these things can be a little bit forgiving. Oh, okay. Woohoo! We have searched the icy corridor. Rowan, come here. You can feel a draft coming from this part of the wall. Oh, I think I hear something too. Do you think it could be a hidden passage? Anything's possible at Hogwarts. The only way to know for sure is by casting Revealio. Reve Revealio? What does that do? Does it reveal something? It's a transfiguration spell that reveals concealed objects and exposes the true appearance of things. It's a really difficult spell, Will. I'd better start rolling it straight away. Alright, so we will head to Transfiguration class and just pick up that spell just as fast as we can. <laughs> Real quick, teach me this spell. Run back upstairs. Arr! All right, let's learn some Revealio, or at least ask McGonagall about it, because I guess there's a chance she might not teach us. <laughs> it's a little convenient. There's a rumor that a student may have snuck into another house's common room. That's illegal and impossible. Madame Pomfrey said Ben's memory hasn't gotten any better. What if it's not really Ben? What if it's a shell Ben, a hollow Ben? Hello, Professor McGonagall. I don't know what your lesson plans are, but can I make some recommendations? Ah, uh, Mr. Bits, I understand that you visited Mr. Carper in the hospital wing. Although you didn't discover his whereabouts, you should be rewarded for your dedicated search and the concern you've shown for his recovery. Twenty points for Hufflepuff. Not gonna complain about that. Thank you, Professor, but I, I actually wanted to talk about something else. What can I do for you, Mr. Bits? Could I have the advanced transfiguration lesson you offered after our first class? I told you that you would receive an owl when it was time for your private lesson. I know, but I really need to learn the Revealio charm, Professor. Why? Um, I do love Transfiguration, and that's the harder one to get, but I think Again, we've been consistently rewarded. The faculty seems to be on our side here. Um, Flitwick has actually been the most hesitant to help us on this, but they still have been teaching me what I need to know. I'm going to say to help Hogwarts. I'm hoping it might somehow help solve the mystery of the cursed ice. I appreciate your ambition, Mr. Bits. However misguided it may be, you aren't ready to learn a spell as difficult as Revealio. Please... Professor McGonagall, I, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't very important. I'll do anything. Anything. I will teach you Revealio when you have proven yourself ready, Mr. Bits. I would typically have you attend many classes in preparation, but since you accepted my offer for a private lesson, this will be much easier. You will receive an owl when I have determined that you are ready to learn Revealio. Oh! Uh, okay, so we have to complete multiple transfiguration classes, I guess, and just study hard and work a very long time in order to learn the things that we want to learn. Okay, that's, that's fair, I guess. I need to practice my spellcasting to prepare for the cursed vault. Wonder if I would have gotten to skip this if I'd just gone for I Love Transfiguration. Yep, we do just have to pass a bunch of classes. And we can just take normal classes, apparently. We just have to check off, like, a certain number of them. That's interesting. Please take your seat, students. It is time to begin your Transfiguration lesson. And this is going to be, I think, the good old cat kettle again. The Cauldron of Kitties. Ooh. 
Whoosh! Hello, giant cat! I have freed you from your tor torment and you disappeared! So can I just do a bunch of one-hour classes? I guess that's all that matters. I think my spellcasting is improved. I'm almost ready to return to the cursed vault. You've proven yourself! Well done! I have class now, but I will notify you when it is time for your lesson in Revealio. So I just had to take one class? You were like, you're not ready, you'll never be ready. Okay, what if I practice for one hour? Not even a training montage. Like, literally the length of a training montage, if I practice that long. Fine, McGonagall, we'll wait three hours and jump through your hoops. It's a good thing I like you so much as a teacher. Alright, having now proven myself, allegedly, I am now able to properly learn Revealio. And on my private lesson, that an hour of waving around my wand was sufficient to merit. I've been very impressed with your work ethic, Miss Bits. Hey, 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 hey! It's Mrs. Bits. Thank you. You've made great progress in transfiguration, both in the classroom and in your private studies. Thank you, Professor. Do you think I'm finally ready to learn Revealio? I do. Please pay close attention. She reveals a poster on the back of the wall that says, No, you aren't ready. Get out of my house, bits. The Revealio charm is used to show the true form of things and to make the invisible visible. Let us begin. Three hours, five stars to pass. Let's learn some Revealio! Concentrate, Mr. Bits. Oh, yeah, Mr. Now, huh? Want me to concentrate? Suddenly you don't misgender me. <laughs> it's a beta. It's okay. We can give it a little bit of a hard time. There we go, and that should probably level me up. You may now attempt to cast the Revealio charm, Mr. Bit. will reveal that this cauldron is actually a pink cauldron. Whoop. Revealio. It does the same thing as the other spell. It's just actually a cat. Well done, Mr. Bits. I trust you will find this spell useful. It can reveal messages, disguises, and even secret passages. It's basically the Ovaltine decoder ring of spells. It's time to return to that corridor to see what I can find. With the new spell learned, we can go there straight away. Brilliant. <laughs> the number of people's faces in the corner is increasing. Alright. Time to meet in the icy corridor. Figure out what's going on once and for all over here. We need to find out what happened to Ben. And if this corridor is hiding something that leads to a cursed vault. Finding those vaults is my only chance of finding my brother. Just be careful, Will. You have no idea what might appear when you cast that, this spell. Might be a vault. Might be his brother. Might be a candy store that we didn't know was in Hogwarts. The Mega Hufflepuff Wing. Revealio! Ooh. Merlin's beard. You unvanished a secret hair staircase. A hidden staircase. It's the same staircase from my vision. And most likely the same staircase from the message we found carved in the cursed ice. Where do you think it leads? Probably to an ice knight. I have no idea. What do you think we should do? Um, telling a professor seems smart. But when are we ever smart? Let's just go. Let's go find out. We might finally be close to finding our first cursed vault. We discovered an unexplored section of Hogwarts, Will. Do you understand how amazing that is? You're right, Rowan. We're gonna need a lot. It looks pretty well lit to me, but let's Lumos. Let's see what's beyond these stairs. 
Should have told a professor. I'm curious what they would have done if we'd done that. I wonder where this leads. This place is absolutely amazing. And c c c cold. Unnaturally cold. It feels like it's already starting to slow down my body and mind. This must lead to one of the cursed vaults. My brother could be close. Let's hurry and see what we can find. And come back later with a warm coat. Oh, eight hour task. Let's start searching that corridor. See what all we can find. There's a lot of stuff. There's definitely some knights up in here. I wonder who was the last wizard to step foot on this floor. Did my brother ever walked through this corridor? Could he be somewhere close? Is he in this suit of armor? Could these be the Ice Knights? Hmm. Why do I feel like we're being watched? Isn't this amazing? Well, Dumbledore might not even know about this place. Roland's right about the cold. I've never felt anything like this before. Whoa. We've discovered footprints. What's that on the floor? Yeah, Rowan, what is it? We've got some sneaky clues. This is some this is some real like cartoon detective stuff. Big cartoon muddy footprints. Someone else was here. Who? How? When? Why? I don't know. Let's see where they lead. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, we should have looked down at the other end of this hallway the whole time. We would have seen the giant misty door that's just sitting here. It's some kind of mist. It's so refreshing. It's freezing. I don't know if we can walk through this, Will. We don't have to. Oh, we will flipendo it out of the way. Flipendo! Whoa! Ho 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 ho! It's incredible. It's Elsa's ice castle from Frozen. I knew those references would pay off. It must be a cursed vault. What should we do, Will? We should open the door. That's a good idea, not a bad idea. Let's immediately crank it open. I don't care about any curses. I have to find my brother. Oh. <laughs> well, are you okay? I had another vision when I touched the door. What did you see? Two rooms. One was dark and filled with books, a dark library. The other was cluttered with a door outlined in chalk. Well, at least this one doesn't seem as threatening as your last vision. Oh, the books were murdering everyone. There was one other thing. What? You know who. We should go, Will. This strange coldness, this entire place, I think it's having a bad effect on us both. What do you mean, Rowan? What do you mean? Oh. It must be enchanted. Watch out, Will! Rowan! Ah! 
have to get him out of here. Oh, chapter complete. What's going to happen? Find out next time. Dun, dun, dun.